Hey guys, so today's topic is butter, so go ahead and check this out. We're gonna make butter from squash, friends. <laughs> Heavy whipping cream. I like to use a 40%, if you can find it, it's great. At least 36% fat. Fatter it is, better it is. We're gonna make a half a pound really quick so the video is not too long. We're gonna uh, whip it and uh, we're gonna separate the cream from the buttermilk. My mom used to do that, my grandmother used to do that, but they used the churning, they did it by hand. Okay, friends, about three minutes went by. I want you to pay attention. I can increase the speed just a little bit. And if I wanted to make a beautiful whipped cream, I would probably stop now. All right, friends, when you see it getting powdery, it's starting to get a little bit of uh, a yellowish in it. And when it starts to getting powdery, you can't be anywhere else. You gotta stay with it. We probably are about five, six minutes so far. And it's stuck on the side of it. And I don't, it's not butter yet, so I'm going to put it back in there, okay? You'll know when it's about to separate, friends, because you can start to see the buttermilk. You see the buttermilk in the bottom? We got butter, friends. Voila! This is butter. You see? We're going to group it together. Gotta stay cold. Very important, all this. By the way, oh yeah, I didn't tell you, but the cream has to be very cold. The equipment has to be very cold. Everything has to be very cold. And you notice right here on my right, friends, I have some, uh, push as much water as you can, as much as the buttermilk, sorry, buttermilk. Push it as much as you can. And now we are going to rinse it. And you know the butter will get rinsed really fast. We have to get rid of the excess buttermilk in there, okay? And then the beauty is when you make butter like this, friends, you can freeze it, right? And this is buttermilk. So what I do with the buttermilk, friends, I strain it to a fine, fine mesh strainer. Now I'm going to take this, uh, if you don't have one of those, this is a, a, a filter you use to make juices, to make all kinds of different things. If you don't have one of those, just get a cheesecloth or, or, or a bath towel. But a lot of people forget to do this. It's very important, friends. Otherwise, your butter will definitely get rancid. So, you know, I squeeze it, and the water is super cold, so I don't have to worry about it. This is butter. So you can shape it. You can put it in a, uh, in a, in a beautiful container. I'm going to show you how I do it. Typical half a pound of butter. It's like I said, you can flavor it however you want it to flavor it. I want to show you how I save it, my friends. I take a little bit of parchment paper, you see, and I put it right in here. This is another half a pound, so now... I have a pound of butter, and uh, you see, you can leave it in there, and certainly leave it in there, you see, and you have your beautiful butter in here, my friends. And you see, and, uh, and you'll find that the homemade butter, friends, that you just did is much more pale in color than the, um, the, the store-bought butter. And when it comes to comparison of flavor, it doesn't even compare, friends. It's creamy, it's velvety, it's... It's amazing. I'm telling you, you gotta try, you're gonna go, oh my God. Put a touch of salt the first time you do it. But it's amazing.